I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour. Right here on Illuminati Radio, I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Hit that like button if you enjoy this content. Alright, this is a special request video from Brother Cordell Diggs. I'd uh, like thank you for sending me this donation for this video, Brother Cordell Diggs. If you guys have any special request videos out there that you want me to do, a video on a celebrity, small donation of $5. Uh, YouTuber, small donation of $5. Or a particular topic you want me to do a video on, and a small donation of $5. Donation link in the description box below. And don't forget, before I get into this uh, show, I need you guys to click the link in the description box below to take you to my backup channel. I need you to go to my backup channel and subscribe to my backup channel because I don't know how long this channel is going to be here for. So, so that you won't miss out, I need you to urgently go to the link in the description box below. Click on that link that says my backup channel. Click on that link that'll take you to the backup channel and hit that subscribe button and notification bell while you're over there. Alright, so uh, Brother Cordell Diggs want to know um, the judgment of the Most High and can you still be saved? Well, I'm going to give you an example. The judgment of the Most High. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to give you uh, Noah. Not Noah. Uh, yeah, Noah. That's another form of the Most High God's judgment. How he saved eight people and destroyed the rest of the world. That's one example of God's judgment. Another example of God's judgment and grace, how the Most High God gave you fair warning. Because, see, Noah was a preacher of righteousness. He was preacher of the a preacher of the truth. And he was trying to preach the truth to the people, but they did not want to listen until it was too late. And another person who was a preacher of righteousness who was a prophet, Jonah. Yes, Jonah was told to go and preach to Nineveh. The Most High God was going to warn Nineveh before he destroyed Nineveh. Before he destroyed Nineveh and all the people in Nineveh, the Most High God sent Jonah to go and preach to Nineveh to have the people of Nineveh repent. Repent means not to do it again. To turn from your wicked ways. That's what repent is. Now if they wouldn't have repented, if the people of Nineveh wouldn't have repented, the Most High God would have destroyed that land. You know what I'm saying? And now, I'm going to fast forward to modern day terms here. You know what I'm saying? The judgment of the Most High. You know what I'm saying? Bishop Eddie Long has suffered the judgment of the Most High. Because for the simple fact that you cannot go around sticking your little weed whacker inside a little boy's rectums and think that you are going to be saved. Bishop A. Long was a preacher, was so called a preacher of righteousness. So called, right? He was so called a preacher of the gospel. But yet he was sticking his little weed whacker into the little boy's rectums. And you don't think that you're going to get judged for that? The Most High God's judgment is AIDS. AIDS is part of the Most High God's judgment. People who are getting killed from the coronavirus. It's part of the Most High God's judgment. You know what I'm saying? What else? Um, these different diseases that you've got today. The West Nile virus. Ebola. You know what I'm saying? All of the, the like, like the scripture said. What did the Most High God said? The Most High God said, He created evil. Um, not, is it evil? The, the evil was created for evil people. Evil was created for lawbreakers. You may say the coronavirus is evil because it kills people. Well, if a person kept and stayed righteous, a person wouldn't have to worry about getting killed from the coronavirus. It's just that simple. 
You know what I'm saying? A person, you know what I'm saying? You may say diabetes is evil. Well, if a person didn't live their life eating pork, crab, lobster, and all of this whack food, and ate according to the Bible, the Levitical Dietary Bible, you know what I'm saying? A person wouldn't have diabetes. You may say emphysema and heart disease and, you know what I'm saying, throat cancer, you know what I'm saying, is evil. Well, if a person did not defile their temple, a person wouldn't suffer that. So you got to understand, these different evils in the earth, whether it be these diseases, whether it be the, the murder hornets, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be, you know what I'm saying? What, um, whatever diseases it is. You know what I'm saying? Whether it can go, it can, it can go all the way down to rabies that come from raccoons. If a raccoon, a rabies infested raccoon bites you, you best believe it's because the Most High God's judgment have come upon you. Because let me tell you something. If you, if the Most High God if, if you kept the law, statute, commandments, if you did right, you won't get wrong done to you. Now, some people may say, well, what if I'm already suffering from diabetes? What if I'm already on insulin? What if I already got, you know what I'm saying, uh, the coronavirus? What if I already got AIDS? What if I already got these different diseases? Well, my thing to you is, you better pray and repent that the Most High God take it from you. That's my prayer to you. Pray, repent, that the Most High God take it from you. You know what I'm saying? Repent means when you repent, you got to not do it again. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying, my prayers to all of you who already got these diseases. You know what I'm saying? My prayer to you all to the Most High, is that you all have a mind change and call for repentance. Because the only way that you guys going to get right is if your mind change. If your mind ain't changed, then you ain't going to get right. The same way a person who gets locked up you know what I'm saying? And in the county jail. If that person mind ain't changed, and when he get out of jail, he's going to continue to do the same stuff that he did but when he got in. You know what I'm saying? Brother Cordell Diggs, you know what I'm saying? That's, so that's what diseases are. Diseases are, you know what I'm saying? The, because the Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy, the Bible says, and all of these plagues and diseases that are not written in this book shall come upon thee and overtake thee until thou be destroyed. That's it, literally say that in the scripture. So if there is plagues and diseases that are not written in this book, we are looking at them today. Diseases, the diseases and plagues that you see today, these are the diseases and plagues that the scripture speaks, speaks about that are not written in the book. That the Lord said is going to come upon us and overtake us until we are destroyed. They are only coming unto us that because we are not coming unto the Most High. So my thing to you all is if you don't want these plagues to attack you. If you don't want these plagues to destroy you. Then repent. And come back to the Lord's statue commandments of the Most High. Hope that answered your question Brother Cordell Diggs. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for the donation for this video. If any of you all have any special request videos that you want me to do, a celebrity you want me to do a video on, a YouTuber you want me to do a video on, or a particular topic, like Brother Cordell Diggs had a particular topic that he wanted me to do a video on, there's a small donation of $5. The donation link in the description box below. And don't forget, like I said, people, I urge every last one of you all to make sure you guys hit that uh, um, backup channel, my backup channel link in the description box below. Subscribe to my backup channel immediately because like I said, I don't know how long they're going to have this channel up. So, it's so that, it's so that you 
won't miss out. I need you to hurry and click on that don't that not that click on that uh, backup channel link in the description box below. That I take you to my backup channel. Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell on that backup channel so that you won't miss out on none of these these reports. Okay. And also the podcast link is in the description box below also as well. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.